Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Difference World YouTube channel. I hope you guys out there are having a wonderful day like me. And if not, just manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because it's surely coming to you all for sure. Uh, if this is your first, second, or third time to my, diff my uh, YouTube channel, excuse me, <laughs> be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave and that notification bell so you get that notification when I drop these content and you come into Different Well, you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning, uh, I'm an author, motivational speaker, and a CEO of my own business. Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, or third time, doesn't matter. Just hit that subscribe button. Much appreciated, you guys. Uh, so today is Monday, you guys, February 27th, ending uh, in the last two days of uh, Black History Month, and so we want to end it with a, a bang on a good note, you guys. And so this... Um, Monday's uh, motivation vlog. Usually on Mondays we do our motivation, you guys. In case you didn't know that, now you do. So Monday is our motivation vlog, and this one is going to be um, man <laughs> something that I needed to uh, um, take a look at in regards of uh, when it comes to my physical, you know, uh, aspect and, and troubles to get into this place that we all hate, or some hate, but you know, um, or some love, but most hate. And that is not other than dun 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 the gym. And so I, I want to title this vlog "You Ver It's You Versus the Gym" or "You Versus the Gym" because um, when it comes to you know getting back in shape for me, um, it's a lot harder now when it was you know a couple of years earlier. I was younger in my twenties. I'm in my early thirties now. Um, I'm still young, but it's just it's a lot different. You know, my body is not the same. And so when when it comes to getting up and going to that gym. Uh, especially in the morning time, it's the hardest for me, man. And I know I'm not the only one, but just think about it when it, when it comes to, you know, going to that gym and, you know, the outcome, you know, I feel, I always feel good, you know, after a workout. And so, um, I don't have a problem with the workout in itself. I actually like exercising and working out. It's just, um, my problem comes in is where it's with the consistency of, you know, getting up and doing it, you know, on the schedule days. I, I, I used to do it, try to do it every day, but I know it's like I need to give myself a break. And so I started doing it, you know, if I do Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, you know, I chill, you know, Thursdays, Tuesdays, or, you know, vice versa, do Thursdays, Saturdays, uh, and Tuesdays or whatever. Um, and so I've been trying to do it like that to keep it consistent, but, um, at times I fall off, I'm not gonna lie. And so right now it's me versus the gym, you know, me fighting that battle of consistency um, and, and keeping it going. Um, a lot of people said, you know, you don't have a problem with consistency if you keep going, if you have to keep trying over and over again, that's consistency right there in itself, yeah? But um, to me, you know, successful consistency is once you know you repeat something over and over again and you're able to keep it going without stopping you know at the periods of long times and so I'm not at that point right now but I am working towards it and I hope anybody out there that's going through the same thing like I'm going through is working towards their goals you know when it comes to the gym um, I tried being a morning person that gets up and goes to the gym but it just don't work out that way for me and so if I do go to the gym it'll have to be in the afternoon for me and um, in the past I've learned that you know, it's not good to, you know, exercise at late, late night because then you'll be up, your body will be awake. And so I try, you know, to exercise between, you know, the hours of, of four to six, so no longer, no, no later than six. But um, I try to, you know, exercise, you know, between that hours, you know, four, six, CSC time for me. Um, and so, I don't know, um, this, uh, I, I, I can't say for anybody else, but just, I'm just speaking from like a personal spirit from testimony, you know, when it comes to going to the gym. Um, but I do like the results when I keep it going, and so that's what pushes me. Now, what stops me uh, at times is that mental health blockage. You know, at days, you know, when I wake up, you know, feeling sad and depressed and down, you know, missing my mother, you know, or, you know, things isn't going right I'm not you know, reaching out I'm reaching out to people and trying to get these interviews and it's slow I'm not hearing any you know responses and sometimes you get down on that and so 
that that causes me, you know, to get depressed sometimes and, you know, makes me, you know, not want to do anything and sleep all day. And I go to the gym at times, but me fighting back and taking control, like I said, you got, we the captain of our own ships, right? And so I can take control of this and try to navigate, you know, my own waters. And at times, you know, I, I, I don't, you know, I lose control, but at times, you know, when I gain control back, I'm able to get back on track and get into the gym, or even if I'm not able to make it to the gym, I have, you know, a little workout apparatus, you know, around the household. I even have a battle rope, and so I try to use that when I have time and I'm not working. Um, and so it's just a little bit of things like that that it keeps you going when it comes to you versus the gym. And, you know, sometimes, you know, financial block is just a reason as well you know luckily I have a gym on my apartment complex you know I used to go to a gym's gym but you know with the pandemic hitting you know financial you know situations changes I can't afford it no more like that so uh, that's usually also another reason why some people you know have a problem going to the gym is their financial situation but don't let that be the reason why you know you don't get your health in check or try to keep it in check and so uh, I think I've been doing enough talking right now. With that being said, you guys, uh, go ahead and let's drop this uh, uh, inspirational vlog I found uh, from Eunice Marceau. Uh, it's called uh, Lost But One. And so check it out. It's, you know, he's talking, you know, a good speech about, you know, keeping that and keeping up your spirits when it comes to, you know, going after your goals with physical fitness and, you know, hitting up the gym. So check it out. And when we come back, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on in the different world. Yeah, here it is. When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. Every single day when you wake up, you better be spending time on your dream. You better be spending time on your You ain't got time to waste. It is a sense of urgency. It's a character of who you are. It's not the title that makes you. It's not the success that makes you. The character defines the success, defines the fame, and it starts right there. They're one in the thousands of hours in the training room, in the labs, in the 5 a.m. runs, and it's raining, when everyone else is sleeping. That's when it's won. The Harvard champion is a light switch that's always on. It doesn't go on and off when someone's watching. It's constant. It's how you look at something. If your name's attached to it, then you do it right. The best of your ability every single time. And the problem with some of y'all is you want somebody else to support your dream. It's yours. I don't owe you a dime. It's your dream. If you want it to happen, get your butt up and make it happen. If you want it to happen, rise and grind. But if you want a thing bad enough to go out and fight for it, to work day and night for it, to give up your time, your peace, and your sleep for it, if all that you dream and scheme is about it, and life seems useless and worthless without it. And if you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it, and if you simply go after this thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and sagacity, faith, hope and confidence, and stern pertinacity, if neither cold poverty, famish or gulp, sickness or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. And the title of 2013, three-time Mr. Olympia, Phil P. Now that's that thing called life, is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. I can tell you that now. Be aware of that. Things are not going to work out exactly right. For a time they will, sometimes, and that's when life is just playing the game with you. I don't want to play anymore. I don't care how good you are, I don't care how talented you are, I don't care how much you work on yourself, there are some times when things aren't going to go right. They just are not going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. 
That's where the work is. Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not blowing up, the reason why you're not successful, you have not learned to pass. You think just because it's an opportunity, it's for you. And not every opportunity is for you. All of us have experienced some tragedy, and if we haven't, we will. And you can either let it destroy your life, or you can build upon it. You can permit it to let, you, let it hold you down, or you can decide, I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm bigger than this. It's not going to be easy. When you want to change, it's not easy. If it were in fact easy, everybody would do it. But if you're serious, you'll go all out. You all fall down in life. The question is, who gets back up? Forgive and grow. You're about to separate yourself from the pack, and you're about to be on top. If you want to begin to move into your own personal greatness, you've got to be willing to go against the tide. You've got to be willing to harness your will and say, in spite of this, I'm in control here. I'm not going to let this get me down. I'm not going to let this destroy me. It's not your circumstances or your situation that determines if you're going to be successful or not. I've been telling you it's your mindset. It's the way you see it. It's the way you think it. Your mind is the battleground. Pet somebody and tell them the enemy is after your mind. Out to worry you to death. Out to stress you to death. Out to break you down. Out to make you quit. Out to make you think that you can't get up. I'm coming back, and I'll be stronger and better because of it. You have got to make a declaration that this is what you stand for. Standing up for peace of mind. You're standing up for health. You're standing up for your dream. You want it, and you're going to go all out to have it. Let it go and begin to focus on developing myself. And I say to you, you're going to have people to do things to you. Things are going to happen to you. And the most important thing to do is to harness your will and let it go. Move so you can grow, so you can get on with your life. It doesn't matter about what happens to you. What matters is what are you going to do about it? When you when you when you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you gotta go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Don't stop. Stay busy. Work your plan. Continue to do those things that you know that work for you after you have evaluated yourself in the situation. Once you make a decision and you go all in and you say, I ain't quitting till I get there. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I will do whatever it takes to be successful. And when you make that decision, you, when you look you in the mirror, when you tell yourself that, look, I'm through, I'm, I'll do whatever it takes, I get it. That's the that begins to happen. Get about your past. Get what happened back in the day. Make the rest of your life the best of your life. Hey everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that uh, inspirational video from Eunice, uh, I forget his last name, Mark so I believe. I, I had it tagged in there. Uh, it's called Lost But One, and so uh, make sure you guys check him out. I uh, listed his information below in my description. So as you guys seen, um, I th actually I think they had a little clips of a uh, Million Dollar baby, baby with Hillary Swank in there uh, too, if you guys seen that. And they were just talking about, you know, getting up every day and pushing yourself to the limits and, and going for yours you know no matter how many times you fail no matter how hard it may be for you guys you know just keep going and it's, it's basically you versus you 
You know, I titled this You Versus the Gym. It's you versus you when it comes to getting up and going after your dreams and goals and having that discipline and consistency uh, to reach your dreams and goals, especially when it comes to getting shape and losing weight and keeping it off. And so um, at the end of the day, it's me versus me when it comes to getting up and going to that gym. And so at the end of the day, you know, I can wish and want all I want, but when it, it takes, you know, having that work, you know, let's say faith without work is dead. And so you have to put in that work, you know, having faith in yourself is one thing, putting in that work and, and believing in yourself and showing that with actions, that's where, you know, this, the true success comes and that's where you'll see that in. And so uh, I'm going to keep striving. I'm going to keep going. Even at times, you know, I have bad days. Uh, that's okay. I'm not going to stay there. I'm going to keep going. And uh, I don't expect to, you know, lose a extreme amount of weight overnight. I know Rome wasn't built in one day. So anybody out there that's feeling like, you know, uh, oh, I'm going to, you know, lose weight just like that. It doesn't happen like that. And taking the easy route, I've been down that route before and it's not worth it. It doesn't last. And so it's best just to do it the long and hard way. <laughs> and it'll last much longer. And so um, anybody out there, you know, that's going through the same thing I'm going through when it comes to you versus the gym, just remember it's not you versus the gym, it's you versus you. And so with that being said, if you guys out there like what the message that I'm bringing with this vlog, um, you can show me by liking, sharing, comment, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. You guys, I definitely appreciate all the love and support that I'm getting. Please keep it coming. I don't care how many views or likes I got. I don't care if this is one or two. Man, I appreciate those two that I am getting. You know, keep it coming. And so, uh, as well as you guys, don't forget, you can check me out on my website, different12.net, for all my other social media handles, my Instagram, my Twitter, my TikTok, uh, I'm all there as well. Uh, don't forget, also, if anybody out there that's watching and listening would like to book me or be a part of their motivational events or speaking or grassroots conversations, you can book me on my website, differencewell.net. I am free of charge as of now. Uh, as well, uh, what else we got, you guys? Still being Black History Month and represent for the culture, you guys. Don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is a great book to cop uh, during this time. It's a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So, guys, again, be advised <laughs> that this is intended for a mature audience. But, again, for those that still can't take this type of heat, I encourage you to still come onto the kitchen. Just bring a fire blanket, you guys. It will be okay. Because the point of this book is to have that conversation that need to be had. Even though it may be hard, it may be shameful, uh, it may be embarrassing, there is power, you know, in healing your past. And so that's why, you know, I did this, you know, part of the reason why I did this. So again, go to my website, differencewell.net, and get your own copy now, yeah? All right, guys, moving right on along with a different train. What else we got going on? Uh, tomorrow's Wednesday. Uh, what? No, what's tomorrow? Tuesday. Yeah, <laughs> so tomorrow's Tuesday, you guys. So uh, <laughs> on Tuesday, we do our social awareness uh, content. So that's so again why you got to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop the content, you come to Different World and you come and learn what's going on. And so uh, tomorrow is the 28th, so it's the last day of Black History Month. And so I'll be doing something special. I know I was supposed to do it last week um, but I'll be dropping my uh, what if uh, finally social awareness content for you guys so be on the lookout for that you guys and uh, other things I got going on you guys uh, so what else moving on lastly but most importantly our mental health check time uh, for anybody out there that's going through any type of mental anguish being uh, depression anxiety feeling suicidal even dealing with bullying peer pressure whatever the case may be um, Please know that it's okay to not be okay, but do not sit there and not be okay. Do whatever it is that you have to do to keep your mental health in check and keep yourself from going off the deep end or taking anybody with you. Being talking with a family member, a therapist, a friend, getting on medication, picking up hobbies, mending broken bridges, cutting people off. Whatever you have to do, do it. And just know that you, know, you are the captain of your ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. 
And so for those out there that may need it or know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255, or you can call or text 988 or text 741-741. And for those that would prefer, you can go online to mentalhealthishealth.us or 988lifeline.org. Or for those that are outside of the U.S. and different countries watching Girl Like in Sri Lanka, you can visit encounseling.com. Again, that's spelled E-N-C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G. And again, you guys remember to do your own homework and to find what works best for you. Even though I am giving you guys these mental health resources, you are the captain of your own ship and you decide to where to navigate the waters, okay? Lastly, remember you guys, the trials and tribulations that you are going to going through, uh, you, this shall pass and you are not alone, okay? So remember, whatever you are thinking about going off the deep end over, it is not worth it, but you are, okay? And so uh, I close out and moving on, you guys. Uh, just remember um, my message today in regards to, you know, you versus the gym uh, is really you versus you. And so when it comes to getting your mental health in check, when it comes to in tune with the physical, uh, that's what you have to do. You have to get up and try and have a plan of action. And even at times when you don't stick to it, it's okay. Just try it, try again. Consistency uh, it just means, you know, trying again, basically. And so uh, with that being said, you guys, anybody going after their dreams and goals, make sure you guys you manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And then it will surely come to you guys. Different as well. Come and learn. Yep. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift? It's a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America. Through graphic but provocative illustration, What If provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author different. Go to differenceworld.net.